So of course the, you know, the US consumer is incredibly important as to how the US economy fares as well. So I think what you've seen is, you know, you've seen, you're seeing a lot of metrics that are sitting away from, well away from the mean. You know, you've got unemployment rates, you know, it's two standard deviations below the mean. You've got um, high consumer rates of consumer confidence. You know, you've got all these sort of articles that are, are written saying, you know, even if you have a, a prison record, you can still get a job in the US these days because the, you're seeing these supply constraints taking place. And you're seeing signs of wage inflation sort of percolate in that US economy as well, because of course, supply versus demand. When you have um, more demand and there's limited supply, the price should come up, i.e. wage inflation should come up. So you're seeing evidence you know, for in companies that are having to employ on a mass basis, you're seeing signs of inflation coming through. Uh, and then the other element you're seeing is you're seeing some of these you know, manufacturing, you know, future looking indicators, you know, ISMs and other indicators start to deteriorate ever so slightly, but, but let me hasten to add deteriorating from a particularly good place. So are we overall still looking good as far as the US economy goes? Yes, we are, but there is definitely, you know, some percolating signs of, of risk. So sort of we don't rule out the possibility that you could have a downturn in the US. And to some extent, you know, what the Fed does, the, the Fed sort of in, is in quite a precarious position because up until now, or up until last year, they, you know, had flagged to the market that they would continue their quantitative um, tightening and they said that they would take rates up at a gradual, in a gradual fashion. And now, most recently, they've sort of left the door open for them to put a stop to all of that. So there's this possibility that they might, in, to some extent, be caught caught short um, because they haven't taken rates up to the same extent that they may have otherwise if everything was good. Uh, but the risk is that you could end up in a situation where they actually can't take rates up anymore because the economy starts to deteriorate around them. So we sort of see, I sort of see two potential ways we could end up with lower rates rather than higher rates. One is the is that the economy actually starts to turn down and that puts the Fed on hold or slash they start cutting again. Um, on the other hand, you could have this inflation run away and that would lead to initially rates going up again, but then perhaps that perpetuating a recession and then turning down again. So um, we're sort of seeing a situation there in the US where things have been really good so far and you know, by all accounts, you know, Retail companies are showing wonderful growth. Um, mass market retailers that have had, you know, that have been struggling, have been having soaring share prices. But we're seeing a lot of risk around that, you know, about that continuing at the moment as well.